in style in LA and we're gonna hang out for I think around 10 minutes and I'm gonna answer some questions ask away if you have any questions and we're gonna talk a little bit I'm so happy to be here and answer some questions <laughs> here we go <laughs> okay so for the first question what made you want to be Miss America oh my goodness I was Miss Arkansas's outstanding teen and when I was 13 years old in 2009 and I kind of watched my Miss Arkansas do the job and I saw you know, the influence and the impact that one person had with one voice. And I saw how much influence she made in my life. And because of that, I wanted to become Miss Arkansas. And you know, you always think of Miss America in dream world. You don't think of it actually happening. And so whenever it does, it's it's amazing. And so hopefully I'll be able to do what my Miss Arkansas did for me for America. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about what it means to be crowned Miss America? Mm -hmm. I like to think of Miss America as being a voice for all. And I like to think of her as being a role model. Something uh, many people may not know is that Miss America is the largest scholarship giving organization for young women. And that's why I love the Miss America pageant. I mean, I get to graduate college now debt free and get to go on for a master's in the future because of the Miss America organization. I received over $90,000 in scholarship, partially funded by the my clothing sponsor, actually, Joseph Ripkoff, too. And, and it's, it's amazing and it's incredible to get to represent that and to get to be that voice, hopefully, and get to be that light. And what kind of stuff do you do while you're the reigning Miss America? Oh, so much. Right now it's been a lot of media. <laughs> it's been a lot of media tour for the, for the last two weeks. And then after this, hopefully I'll get to just travel a country and get to meet as many people as I can. And uh, going to schools, I think I'll need to do a little of that, a little bit of public speaking, working with Children's Miracle Network hospitals. I'm so excited for Hopefully I'll be getting to go into uh, lots of hospitals and meet the families and meet the kids there and uh, promote my platform and the national platform along the way. Can you tell us what some of your favorite charities are? Well, like I said, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. I have been working with them ever since I was 13 years old. Just doing started because of the national platform, and it, it is filled with the most inspiring and amazing people I've ever met in my entire life. I actually just got back from Walmart. Uh, they're doing their national Children's Miracle Network Hospitals campaign. I think it goes to October 9th, and every time you check it out at Walmart, you can actually donate to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, which absolutely you should. It, it is going to a charity that's truly changing lives all around us. Um, can you tell us about your fitness routine? Ooh, how are you staying? I like to spice it up a little bit. I mean, I'm a dancer, so I always love to dance, and I hate running, but I kind of force myself to do it. But if there is a combat class, that's my favorite thing to do in the world. Like with punching bags, I'm not really an angry person, but it kind of, you know, you find the anger in yourself somewhere. But I love those combat classes more than anything. Those are so much fun. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite beauty items that you use every day? Ooh. Favorite beauty items. I'm never allowed to leave the house without lipstick. My mom's instilled that in me from a very young age. And so lipstick is a must. Lipstick is a must. And then I always have translucent powder, always, you know, because you never know where it's gonna come. But do you have a favorite lipstick brand or Ooh. color? One thing that I used the whole entire week of the pageant, I'm trying to think of what color it was. It was color pop. It comes in this white tube and it's like this dark raspberry color. I'm trying to it may be somewhere in my dress. It's kind of like this dark pink color, but it's, it's this dark raspberry color, and I love it. I wore it the whole entire week of the pageant. It's great. Um, how long have you been participating in pageants? So I, I did that when I was 13 years old, so a long time ago, but I also just took a break for a really long time. I saw what it meant to, that this was a job, and I knew that I needed to be emotionally and mentally prepared for that, and I knew that I would have to wait until I was mature enough to compete to be Miss Arkansas. And so I was kind of, you know, took my pageant time, had a break moment in the, in the middle there, but then I started back in this past year and then competed for my local and then won Miss Arkansas, and then now we're here. But now we're here. Um, do you have any funny, like, behind the scenes moments or stories? Um, from any of the pageants you've been in, any like backstage? The one that the one that keep the one that I keep thinking about. So after I was crowned. I have this problem where I get lipstick on my teeth every single five minutes of my life. And you're crowned, you're walking down, you're crying the whole time, and you come back and then you take a picture with the judges. So Sierra is walking up to me, and I'm like, oh my god, it's Sierra, and I'm like trying not to like fall over. And she she grabs my face and she's like, you have lipstick on your teeth. I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I'm like trying to get it off and she's like, sweetie, you're not getting it. And so then she like takes my hand and like is touching my face trying to get the lipstick off my teeth. And I was like out loud. I can't believe you're touching my face right now. And so that was one of the backstage moments that I'll remember for forever. 
Do you ever get nervous going on stage, like, before you go on, or...? I think it's more excited. You know, that's why I kind of wanted to start doing pageants, was I wanted to dance in front of people, and I wanted to perform my talent, and uh, that's kind of my goal of my talent, was to have everyone watching have just as much fun as I was dancing it. And so that's kind of how I started doing it, but... Yeah. How long do you prepare your routines? Oh my for? gosh, years, months, days, hours, weeks. It's, I mean, it's a process, and you want to get it in so it's muscle memory. And so you do it over and over again, so that way whenever you do walk out on stage and you're not warmed up because in the top ten to make you wait on stage and then they call you up, then you, all you have to do is just press play. That's kind of the goal. Do you work with a choreographer or do you? Yeah, I, I well, got to go to uh, New York City and work with the choreographer A.C. Suela, who uh, did my dance for me, and it was the, the most fun thing I've ever gotten to dance. And he's my favorite choreographer, and he's my favorite choreographer. He's was so great in this whole process, wanting to make sure it looked best on me and making me feel like my story was being told while I was dancing it. Um, what's one piece of advice that you would give your younger self? Yourself at 13 when you started right, out? Right. Or... I, I would say that my insecurities are not my limitations. I think that sometimes, especially in this social media world, we compare ourselves to the person that's above us in our feet and behind us in our feet, and it's you, you, you value your life sometimes, or I fall into the valuing of how many likes you get on Instagram, or what you look like, or your successes and failures, and I think that one of the biggest things I've learned throughout pageants are that my insecurities that I am not good enough, or I'm not worthy of this, that those have kind of faded away, and that I've found my worth in the ability that I am just alive and that I'm worthy of taking up space. And so that's kind of hopefully what I'll be able to do this year as Miss America is tell other people that story and hopefully let others know that their insecurities are not their limitations and that they, they can achieve and they can reach so much higher than they think that they can. Do you have any advice for girls around the world, you know, young girls? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say beyond the don't let your insecurities be your limitations, the biggest thing is to know that you are enough. I think I grew up in a society where I was taught to find my validation in very temporary and fleeting things, such as what people said of me or what I looked like and if I was having good hair day or bad day. And it was, I started trying to seek my validation in very temporary and fleeting things. And so hopefully what I can tell young girls is that you don't need to find your validation in those and that you are worthy just because you are and that you're worthy just because you're living and you are worthy of taking up space. And I wish that I had known that at a very young age. I think that I would have had the, the confidence I do now and would have been the savvy that I'm designed to be earlier on if I would have learned to not find my validation and seek for happiness in very fleeting things. We've got a couple of questions coming yeah. in about your hair. What about it? Um, people are just making... Oh, no, what's wrong? <laughs> actually, no, no, no. They're actually just commenting on how beautiful your hair is. Oh, it's so sweet. Do you have any favorite hair products that you use when you're yes, off-duty? Yes, Miracle 10. You know what? The thing that comes in the uh, blue bottle with the pink top? That is the funniest description ever. But it, I, I get super dry hair because I hairspray all the time. So after I shower, I always put that in and it helps me brush out my hair all the time. And what are some, like, uh, hair tips that you learn from the pageant circuit? Is there, is there like, certain, like, volume tips that you learn that you would Rolling. So pin rolling. That's, like, what we always would do. We would pin roll our hair at 8 a.m. and never take it out until right before the pageant. So that way it stays. So you would pin roll your hair with, you know, the clips of the bi pin. You just stick it in there and you hang out all day just chilling in your pin rollers. And then right before where we were going, we take them all out, flip our hair over, flip it back up, and then we're good to go. We've got a couple of comments from people who've actually met you and wanted to say hi. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi. I'm going to butcher this name. What? So sorry, but Tsunami wanted to say hi. She met you on West Palm Beach. Oh, super fun. Um, she's from Georgia County. Oh, hi. In case you recognize her. Oh. And hello from Sudan in Egypt. Ooh. I don't think they've met you before, but hello. they wanted to say hi. It's nice to say hello. <laughs> and... <laughs> Phyllis from Kansas wanted to say congratulations on your success. Oh, um, so she's sweet. a dance instructor, and so oh, she, awesome. your dance story resonated with Phyllis. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. And then we've also got a couple comments about your dress. Um, oh, really? I was can so you fun. stand up and give viewers a little? Yes, I would love to. This is from dress. Joseph Ripkoff, who is actually my sponsor, who is clothing me the entire year. So whatever you see me wearing is Joseph Ripkoff. You can see my little fun dress. This is kind of hilarious. We have like two space <laughs> to like kind of like do a little modeling and we'll show. Go but to yeah, the shoes. yes, the shoes, the dress. It's very. I'm an art girl, 
So I love it. It's, it's very flowery and happy. That's the goal. All so that makes pretty. You happy. Yeah. And where are you from? You have to be from... I'm from Arkansas. Okay. I don't know if you can hear my accent. I've tried to, you know, <laughs> figure it out or hone it. We've had a few a people say Fayetteville. Is that where... Fayetteville. Near? Fayetteville. Yeah, Fayetteville. I'm from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Lots of yeah. people from oh Fayetteville goodness. are saying if Fayetteville is been, so proud of you. Oh, that's so sweet. If you have not been to Arkansas, you have to go. It is... It will always have peace in my heart. I'm so, so proud to represent the great state of Arkansas. And last thing I just have yeah. to say, you brought in your crown in a lockbox. I did. Are Where there special it? rules Do you for? Want to see it? Are there rules for transporting your crown around? Is <laughs> it that it has to stay close to my heart? <laughs> Besides that, this is my box. This is where I keep my crown. It it will be safe and intact. It has my fancy name tag right there if you can see it. And then it doesn't have any sound effects. I kind of wish it does. So whenever I go, oh, it would like light up. But it just you know. It's not my new purse. I got my uh, lipstick, hairspray, mints, crown box, bobby pins. Everything. All in there. All in there. All your, all your treasures. All the treasures. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sagan, for coming in. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Bye.